Up next, we had R-Truth tag teaming with the recently debuted Xavier Woods. The take on 3MB. Now, Xavier Woods, better known as Consequences Creed, back over in TNA when he was initially signed by WWE in the summer of 2010. I was extremely excited. I wanted to see him promoted to the main roster almost immediately. I was just that anxious to see him on TV. And it made sense, too, because, you know, he had TV experience over in TNA for many, many years as Consequences Creed, former X Division champion and world tag team champion in his own right. But I guess TNA doesn't count in, in WWE's mind. So they sent him down to NXT to season his skills for quite a bit, for three years to be exact, three and a half years, I should say, and develop the persona of Xavier Woods. Um, he was very much over in NXT. I like his gimmick. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Eddie Murphy back in the day. And he's got this whole Power Rangers thing going on by saying it's morphing time. Kind of similar to CM Punk's clobber in time, but he says it during the matchup. So I like it. Maybe the people you know, catch on over time. So I very much like the duo, a duo of Truth and Woods, if only because he gives Truth something interesting to do because I couldn't care less about him as a singles performer. So at least he's in the tag team division. Um, and unlike Kingston and Truth, who were just randomly paired together, Xavier and Truth actually have chemistry. Not only due to the fact that they're, you know, I'm not going to say it's because they're both black. That's just being, you know, freaking racist. But also due to the fact that that these two formerly tag teamed back over in TNA as Truth and Consequences. When Ron Killings, or you know, our Truth is going by the name of his real name, Ron Killings, he was calling himself the Truth at the time, Truth and Consequences. Of course, they can't do that name now because his name is Xavier Woods, but I very much like the team of Truth and Woods. Great to see Woods on the WWE main shows. 